Hello and welcome to another coffee review for www.getbeamed.com. I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we're trying out something slightly different. We're trying out the Fitch Brew Co. Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. Now uh, we've tried various cold brew coffees before uh, on our website. Uh, but today we're trying our first Nitro cold brew. Now, I've not tried uh, Nitro coffee before, um, so this is a new experience for me. Um, in terms of what I believe it is, it's basically cold brew coffee, so coffee that has been brewed cold to drink, to be drunk cold, um, infused with nitrogen or brewed with nitrogen. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, yeah, so infused with nitrogen, nitrogen infusion. So here it claims it's to give it a creamy head and a smooth finish. Uh, yeah. Um, so as far as I'm aware, it basically gives the coffee a bit of a, 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 a head, much like um, certain beers or dark beers, like um, a bit like Guinness. Yeah. It's, it's nitrogen infused to give that kind of heavy, creamy head. So uh, I'm wondering if it then, um, Guinness itself has a bit of a coffee taste to it. I mean, it's not comparable, but those Guinness drinkers who are also coffee drinkers, you know, should understand where I'm coming from. So I'm wondering if it then has that sort of taste, that kind of heavier taste with the creamy head. Um, it'll be interesting to see, since it doesn't have any milk in this, it's, it is just the coffee and the brew, um, and I probably won't pour it out, I'll drink it from the can, so we'll see how that works out. Um, now, now, I bought this from a small, kind of very hip shop in a very hip area uh, in Granary Square in London, so that's in the King's Cross area, so it's, it's, it's kind of been gentrified, it's very, very hipster area so it's exactly the sort of area i expect to find cold brew i mean now it's 260 a can for this it was about two pound 60 i believe um it's about 3.99 for two cans on the fitch website so 260 a can is not cheap by any stretch of imagination for 280 milliliters if you're buying a can of fizz you're expecting to pay a quid or less now you've got to appreciate one this is coffee so it is more expensive and two it's the nitrogen infused blah 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 if you're buying a can of beer it's more expensive um but that's tax so 260 a can it's not cheap but it is a coffee so you've got to factor in um it's not cheap if you're pricing it against say a can of pop um but for coffee it's not horrendous you usually spend about three quid for a cup of coffee in london um, if not more, um, depending on where you're getting your coffee. Uh, so if we look at it in that sense, it is a can of coffee. Um, uh, 260 isn't horrendous, still not cheap. But uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it works out and uh, what we think. So here goes. This 280 milliliters, by the way. Um, so... Give this a swig. Oh, that is quite a sweet coffee. And in terms of the um, whether I can taste a difference between, say, a regular can of cold brew, yes, you can. It really. There's, it lends an air of uh, a bit more body to it. Obviously, you can't put more body into coffee. You know, the coffee has the body of itself. But because there is that level of, uh, you know, kind of creaminess, as they claim, it, it makes it seem thicker and more, that, that there's more to it. Not just, um, you know, some cold brews can come across a little thin, because it is cold coffee, it's a bit like, you know, coffee flavoured water. I know all coffee is coffee flavoured water, but what I'm getting here is that a lot of cold brews can come across 
very thin in the sense that they are come across almost as flavoured water, where that comes across more as a bodied drink, uh, presumably because of the nitrogen. So I would prefer that over a regular cold brew, if you see what I mean, because I tend to drink milky coffees. So I think that's where the nitro comes in. If you tend to drink milky coffees, but you want a cold brew, a nitro cold brew would perhaps be best for you. Now, in terms of what I think of this, I'm going to have another sip. Uh, yeah, so that, now that's got a, a level of, what it does is it has a kind of a level of fruitiness to it that if you had a fruity coffee, you would not necessarily put milk with it because it would cut out that fruity flavour. Whereas nitro, whereas the nitro offers that offers that level of creaminess, you still get the full that kind of nice high fruity level. There's not a lot of acidity there, but there is a definitely kind of those high notes of kind of berries and fruitiness. I don't know if it specifically says uh, anything about the flavour. It doesn't there. Um, but it is a uh, single origin, which is interesting. Um, single origin tends to be less complex because it is a single origin. Um, but yeah, so I wasn't expecting that. In short, I wasn't expecting that to be as sweet or as fruity. Um, the creaminess is there, but I was because of that association with more bodied um coffees that like the ones that typically say they are chocolatey and caramelly you know in their tasting notes tend to be creamier so i wasn't expecting that taste uh with that kind of texture as it were so it's very interesting um and i would definitely kind of recommend that because that is really really kind of offers the the a nice kind of pitch of the two um and yeah i would drink that kind of happily come summer or winter as a nice mix between the two in terms of nitro cold brew if that is what they taste like in general with with that kind of level of creaminess i would favor them over a regular cold brew um so yeah um thank you for watching do give us a like and a subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments below.